settling a minor's personal injury case, which is someone who is under the age of 18, is more complicated than settling a regular case. And the reason is, oftentimes you need to get court approval, meaning you need to go in front of a judge, you need to tell the judge the case facts, what the damages are, what the insurance policy is, what the offer is, and what the minor will net after the settlement is finalized. There are certain counties that govern attorney's fees if you're representing a minor. So for example, at Agris Law Firm, our contingency fee in personal injury cases is always one third. However, there are certain counties that govern contingency fees and they regulate them and you're only entitled to a 25% contingency fee. Regardless of the contingency fee, when we settle a minor's case, it takes more time. And the reason is you need to get court approval. And then once the court approves it, the funds are put in a restricted account. Someone is appointed to be in charge of that account. And then when the minor reaches 18, we petition the court to have those funds released to the now adult. So settling a minor's case takes a little bit more time. We've done this dozens of times. We're very familiar with the process. It's just uh, a few more steps than settling a regular case. And then when our client becomes 18, we will then help them get access to their account. And there are limited circumstances when parents can get access to those funds. Again, this is by petition to the court, maybe for an emergency situation or the child needs something for school, perhaps a computer or something like that. That's something you can always reach out to, discuss it with us, and if we think it's appropriate, we can petition the court to release some of those funds. But generally, you can't access those funds until the minor reaches the age of majority.